Hello, Rekwini7, and welcome back to Rule Waves 2 as we continue our run as the Confederate States of America. It is August 1926, and we have just, just finished the war with the British. It's been a long and hard slog, but we got there in the end, and uh, a great victory was won. So we did secure the Caribbean. Hang on, I'm just going to tweak that music down a scooch. I will try that. But it's not too low now. Um, we did secure the Caribbean. We also secured West Africa. Helps if I point at the screen. And um, but we had to give up Maine, so we're definitely going back for that. Uh, and first thing we're going to have to do is sort our monthly balance. All our ships are still on active duty, um, and uh, we're very much going to want to tweak that to try and get ourselves some semblance of balance. We're also going to do a fairly healthy redesign of our fleet here. Uh, involving scrapping a lot of old ships, building some new ones, and generally getting things up to speed. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about, just before we get things kicked off, was uh, fleet basing, because this stumbled me a little bit last war in West Africa. So I did not know how many ships I could put in sea zone. Um, and obviously you can click on a, a sea zone area, and it'll tell you a couple of things. Um, it tells you your force requirement, that's for foreign stations. So you get penalty if you don't have this much forces in the area, and it'll tell you how many force points you've got, for want of a better word. Okay, it'll then also take, give an explicit list of ships, no problem, uh, and aircraft, and then we'll tell you in brackets your blockade value of your ships. Um, and all, as far as I'm aware, all this is used for is determining if you have enough points to blockade a nation's home zone. So you go to their... Home zone, uh, hang on, uh, here you go, Britain's got 106 points worth of stuff, so you'd need more than 106 points worth of stuff to enact a blockade. It's not, it's, a, it's, a, it's an imperfect system because having 107 doesn't feel like enough to make a blockade, but there you go, that's how the system currently works. So that's that number. Um, Yeah, okay. But none of this information tells you how much base capacity is. And it even tells you, look, here's what your base capacity is, 137. So this is coming from a number of ports, plus during peacetime everyone gets a 10 in every sea zone. That's why all these guys have 10, even though they have no ports. But, so, all that great information doesn't tell me anything that I need to know in terms of capacity. What you can do, and what I missed, is just on this left-hand side, if you expand over here, and this will tell you what you need to know. So in West Africa, here you go, 93 points of capacity out of a total of 137. So that's where it would have told me how I was faring um, and obviously telling which ships are contributing towards that. If you ever stuck for it, that's where you, you can tell. The only problem is it's very difficult to work out what it's going to be before you get there. Um, like if, you know, I've got a massive fleet in the Caribbean and if say I wanted to send portion of it I wouldn't know how many how, without kind of experience and even though my hours in game I don't have it how many would get us up to that 137 um, but also being over your base capacity short terms of end of world so you can just send some ships and bring it back and balance it oh hey ATs how's it going welcome on in hope you're fine hope the Covid's uh, not treating you too badly okay so yeah, I just want to cover that because we've talked about it in the last one. Um, things we want to do. Now, we've got a little bit of funds on hand. I do want to expand my dock size, but I'll maybe hold off until our balance isn't quite so terrible. We're probably going to do some drastic things here. And just a little bit of a gamble, and we're going to have enough peace time to rebuild some stuff. So we've currently got some heavy cruisers and some battleships coming off the line. So if we look at our heavy cruiser... Fleets. We've got these esports. They are they are um, obsolete. That's what we're looking for. The point where I th not even for colonial service, I think I'm just gonna scrap them, and then we will have three more coming off the line, um, and so we'll have four heavy cruisers. I'd like a little bit more, but I don't think having these guys is uh, useful for us. I'm also in the next war. It's either gonna be against Britain or against Germany. It's the only ones I'm interested in. And so the fighting is going to be concentrated in either North Bang East Coast, and the Caribbean, or West Africa. So we should be able to concentrate our forces so we don't need old, out-of-date stuff bombing around. 
you're currently watching from work. What? Why? Why are you at work? At Eight o'clock on a Monday night. Uh, but glad you survived and you're out of the out of lockdown with COVID, etc. So uh, let us grab these. Thank you for your service. Yes. The Navy experimental establishment suggests that eSport could be expended for gunnery practice. Yeah, that sounds fun. You get hardly any money back anyway when you scrap it. Let's blow it up. Yeah. Firing trials against eSport. How advanced our knowledge about subdivision and damage control. Excellent. So we get 800. So I call it, I suppose, cost us 400 there. Okay, so that's a heavy cruiser's dealt with. Um, we've got the uh, Chattahoochee, which is probably going to send over to West Africa, and then the Clarence, which will join our other... We are four heavy cruiser, 26 knots. We'll have five then, thank God. But for right now, I'm going to uh, well, at least put them both on reserve, I think. I might end up mothballing you. Although not if you're going to be on foreign stations. But we don't need you, we can do some lights now. We're just going to, we're going to mothball you. Oh, what's wrong one? Okay, lights, let's get them. I'm looking at you, Tallahassee. I'm impressed you guys have all survived. I mean, I don't know how many of this class were originally built. Three, four, five, six, I guess eight, so maybe we lost one. <laughs> um, but yeah, they've survived all the way from 1899. That's impressive, but they are very much obsolete. Um, so we may just scrap them all. Now we still need some light cruisers to do some work for us in West Africa, but to be honest, we could break off uh, the old Chikoras. And that would still leave the archers and the selmas as part of our kind of main fleet. I think that is what we're going to do. Again, it's we are shrinking. Such is required in times of peace. Let us scrap this. Yes. 1.4 million. Nice. Okay. Um. Let us... Do you want to send all three? I mean, that's excessive. I only need 10,000 tons. I suppose that's, that would be 18. I only really need to send two of them. So let's send two of them. Please move yourself to uh, it's fine. Uh, where are we going? West Africa. Okay. And everyone else should come back to the Caribbean, to be perfectly honest. But we'll finish our scrapping and whatnot when we're done. You can get mothballed. And then we've got archers. And so well, we, you're definitely going to reserve. And then maybe we'll keep the Selmas on active. That's fine. Our CVLs. We well, should keep these guys on. Um, on active until us till we get some CVs and go back. I don't think we can build them yet. No, so this is our air wing. Mm, yeah, we we'll probably want to keep these guys active. We'll see how they, if we can afford it. We absolutely want you all in uh, the Caribbean, though. So just hit the M key, which comes up now the screen. I can now select Caribbean from a uh, drop-down list. Beautiful. That's interesting. Why are you going anywhere? Hmm, interesting if those guys move. Okay, destroyers. I don't really have issues with destroyers, actually. I just have to um potentially yeah, I'm gonna mothball these guys. Let's do it. Bit harsh, I'm gonna lose some special elites, but C'est la vie. Um, you guys are repairing, so you're stuck there. Let's bring you home. And we shall deal with you. Let's go to Caribbean, please. I'll put you in reserve when you get there. And then we have our Corvette, which we're just going to get mothballed. Although they should probably get refitted first to bring... I really bring the maintenance down that much. But if I go to... Design for rebuild. And it's just a lick of fresh paint. I mean, how much does that cost me? Oh, nice and nothing. All right, fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll rebuild all those. <laughs> Huge expense, but only short term. Right, so that's just 10 million in the hole, but so we can survive for seven months, and in seven months, we'll have at least two of our BBs we built. All these Corvettes about, we should get them on mothballs. We should be able to, hopefully, 
live within our means at that point. And our active ships roster has been thoroughly reduced. So there we go. Alright, so let those movements take place. Even better torpedoes, that's nice. Should have a look at where my um what do you call it? Preferences are. Where's my research? Naval guns. What guns have we got? Um yeah, there's a few quality ones I'd quite like to get actually, especially there. Here, so that's fine. Keep that high. What else have we got? Uh sorry, back over here. Um, ah, amphibious stuff. I don't need you anymore. Oh no, we do need that extra tick for Maine if we want to invade it, don't we? Look at our invasion ranges. We are, oh sorry, zooming in and zooming out. We don't quite reach um, Portland. So we would need another tick. Well, let's keep that on high for just now. What else have we got? Shipboard aircraft, I think, is fine. Aviation heavy is fine. Yeah, we don't care about lighter in the air. A anti aircraft, yeah, because I'd, uh, I'd like the 5 inch DP. Ah, Tehu, hello, Tuhu, how's it going? You want me to make something like Leander for a light cruiser? Uh, maybe, uh, what do the Tuscaloosa? What do those Tuscaloosa heavy cruisers like? We'll have a look at that in a minute. I'm just working out on this stuff. Um, who's far behind? You're quite far behind and you're quite far in front. Ah, submarines, that's why, because we are advanced. I'll keep them on. They're going to drop away in uh, importance as we head to kind of 30s and 40s. Might get one more war out of them. Uh, oh, I think I'm okay with a lot of this. Mm, actually, we could do with increasing this. We're a bit far behind on that. These guys are miles in front. As is this, so, oh, but it's fire control. When do you not want fire control? Alright, I'm going to turn these guys down to low just because they are quite far along and I want to catch up with some other stuff. Like some of my shells, just so I'm doing more damage with my hits. Alright, a wee tweak. Uh, you were asking about my heavy cruisers. Here we go. Eight 10 inch uh, guns, main guns, and, and four double turrets, and then a whole bunch of five inch signature turrets awaiting DP upgrades. So its HA is pretty poor at the minute, but once these come through, it'll be it'll be better. They're decent, a little bit, uh, speed's okay actually, 26 knots at this time. Speed of defense two is okay. Decks are uh, maybe a little light as we head in towards dive bomber territory. But you can't have everything. It's the joy of this. You've got to pick and choose what it is you want. Okay. Uh, yeah, you did indeed move. Can you come back to Caribbean, please? Thank you. You also come back to Caribbean. Good. You guys are repairing. You're repairing. Everyone else should be home. So all these destroyers... Yeah, do I really want all these guys on active? Probably want to keep some of them on, to be honest. Who's on active at the minute? Destroyers, two CVLs. Whole bunch of C C CLs. Yeah, we could potentially put some of them, the archers, on, at least onto reserve. Let's do that. Let's reserve. Save a few more bucks. Ooh, magazine box. That's handy. A few less explosions. Right, we should have that other CL has come now. Come home to Caribbean. Where are you? Let's go status. My AFs. Into reserve. Right. New ships. New ships for Judah Benjamin. Oh, these are just reconstructions. Stonewall Jackson. 
Aha! Hmm, I wish I had more money now. Purpose built CVs, okay. Oh, we're gonna, absolutely going to look at that. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't new BBs, it's new BCs, which are still a long way away. But these were just uh, refits. These are still still chips. Workhorses, that's what we'll call them. Uh, and we're going to mothball at least one of them. And reserve at least one of them as well. Should bring the costs down slightly. Mere 7 million a month we're losing. We'll get a little bit back with these Corvettes and then... Then life becomes difficult. Okay. And I also want to build a CV. Or something, something, not enough money. Um, Alright, I'm going to hold off on the CV, which is a dangerous prospect. I don't want to spend a lot of time designing one and paying for it. Um, I think I can build it. You price into triple, three triple eight inch guns on heavy cruisers because the rate of fire is much higher. Uh, true, but... And maybe not so much later on, although triples, obviously you get jams with them early doors. And then you are more vulnerable to turret hits because um, a single knocked out turret takes out three of eight guns rather than two of eight guns. But pros and cons. And you're going to go look up some names for CVs. Excellent. The Pandora. Mm, not very exciting. Good, fast, fast little class. So, hey, Leander. Okay, let's keep progressing. Let's finish construction. Okay, US government would like to buy Integral Armor. Absolutely. I need money, and I don't want to fight you guys. Uh, airship diesel engines. Oh, I don't care about that, I don't think. Quality 114. I think we got, um, We did have ships of 14. Whether we still do is a different question. Uh, hey, these guys are 14, so I would like to upgrade that. We've only just finished upgrading them, and we don't really have the money for it. But A thought for the future. Okay. So all my city ships can go on tree protection. No, not tree protection, mothballed. If around 6 million negative balance. We may not be able to eat this out forever. We may have to put something on pause. Yeah, I don't like all the single turrets, but I know why we did it. We wanted to DP and we didn't have the tech at the time for twins. Um, one more thing. I'm thinking about potentially putting some of these on hold. I suppose I might as well run it to the wire. Yeah, well, you might get an industry boost. Hey, Compass Rose, how's it going? Good to see you. All is well indeed. We're just shy of money. Japan would like to buy improved training elevation. Absolutely, you're my buddy. I have been for a long time. Welcome to it. Better submarines. I think we're finished building all the subs we're building. Yeah. We lost quite a lot in that last war. We're down to 36. We did start losing rapidly, and if you look at Almanac, there's I think only, like, France has gone super heavy. No one else really has. Oh, tell you what I should be doing, hang on, is um, putting these guys all into reserve. Reserve, please. That should save me a little bit of money as well. Indeed, uh, a little bit, a little bit. What is our naval budget in the uh, naval eight? Naval aircraft budget, 3.4 million. Okay. It's chunky, I mean, that's... What's that, like... 70-ish percent of uh, my naval ship budget? So maybe we want to... Maybe we should have a, a pessimist. Is there anything here which you think is a little bit OTT? Norfolk, Charleston and Miami. I think it makes sense. Close in the port. A little bit in Dakar, we nothing in free time we've picked up. We've got a little bit in Point Noir. And three 
can't move up. I still have Freeport. Where are you? Oh, it. Moving between games and different click drags. Freeport is right here. Maybe. Maybe we can the Freeport port and the Nassau, um airplanes during peacetime. Maybe even for good. Where is Fort de France? Oh, over here. Hmm, yeah, that's not terrible. It gives us a little bit of coverage. We're going to scrap anywhere. Where would it be? Hmm. Port of Spain, Port de France on, on this kind of side. San Juan in the middle. Guantanamo Bay. And then Miami. Which are all sensible places. Maybe we just get rid of the Freeport and the Nassau ones for just now. Save us some money and we can always rebase them if we're having issues. I mean, flying boats are, gen are predominantly scouting and ASW. I've not really brought down the uh, maintenance cost that much. But there we go. Let's have a CV's name for Caribbean Islands. Oh, I like that. That's a good shout. Remember that when we get to it. Okay, let's try and uh, maybe chunk forward a few turns. The Invincible. We have sunk many of those. Yeah. Japanese vineyard bar called the Manazura. Fast of an hour. So well, that is a good reminder. Let's have a quick check of our Crafts. We have got fairly new medium bombers, flying boats, and fighters. Torpedo bombers a little bit out of date. Our Philippine Scout is very, very old. Let's maybe just uh should we update that? Sure. That's not what I meant, that's what I wanted. Philippine Scout, what I want from you. Range? You're a scout? Maybe speed? Yeah, probably. I want you to go far, and I want you to see stuff, and I want you to be quick, so you tell me about it. A regional war seems imminent in South America. One of our major arms manufacturers wants to step up exports. What is our reaction? Uh, I mean, tensions are almost nothing, so let's ramp them up slightly, which should increase our budget. We got some better explosive shells, nice. A little bit. Push just slightly towards the black. What have you got for us into Cuba, Jamaica, Trinidad, Bahamas? Yeah, yeah, I got you. So then we've got to you've got to test your geography on which islands I control and which of the few holdouts. Okay, above water torpedoes for everyone. You get an above water torpedo, and you get an above water torpedo. Apart from that, things are quiet. We are spying on Germans and the British, because again, that's where we would take a war. How is the British rebuild going? Um, yeah, they're rebuilding fairly rapidly. No CVs. Lots of light clues. Ah, they're getting there. I don't really understand this maths, though. That's why my, my stumbled says you have two in service for 54,000 tons. Seems very small. Then you have one building and it's an extra 150,000 tons, which is obviously not right. Hmm. Don't know. Hey, excellent. Boost of economy. Uh, shooting competition for all the ships. Increased morale and combat readiness. But lots of maintenance. Um, we're not that close to war. We are burning a lot of money, so I'm going to say not this time. Thank you very much. Improved my, well, potentially improved my fighter. So this is my current one. The Model B. The Model C. Yeah, so it has got slightly faster. Slightly further range. Okay, liking it so far. Yeah, that's it. It just goes faster and farther. 
I'll take it. Thank you. All but ones are control. But, uh, yeah. Although some of them don't get named. Well, but is this just the general intellies? Yeah, okay. This would be... Ooh, I don't know what these little lumps of land are, actually. There you go. Right, I digress. Japan wants to extend our security range. Absolutely. We have been a stalwart ally and we're very happy. We asked to comment some Japanese ships. We can say they look fantastic. We can say we're happy. Or we can insult them. Now, the correct answer is to insult them, because increased tensions increase money. But that's a little bit that's a little bit too far off. So I'm gonna say we're gonna happy to have posted them. I don't want to push tensions down, but let's not uh yeah, let's not go too away from the character we're playing. The improved um, address sound, headphones even. Oh, did you spot the US building the first CV? Yeah. Make a CV like the Ranger CV4. I do not know what that is off the top of my head. Do you have any information on what, what their CV is like? Probably not. Mm, oh, yeah. She's apparently the Ranger. Uh, we don't know much about her. Especially how many sh planes she's got as the key bit, but there we go. Right, we're about to run into money problems in a couple of months. We're fairly close to finishing some of these though, which is good. And then we'll be able to start on our CV, thanks. You're going to sell us... Oh, oh, uh, mm. oh decisions, decisions. Um, Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Always buy tech, eh? All four of my arm is fun. Okay, uh, better armor quality, I'll take that. Do we want your flying boat, Dixie? Well, you have been busy, Dixie. Okay, tell much. What are you offering is you've been incremental improvements. Better cruise speed, slightly better range, more firepower, less maneuverability, less toughness. Toughness is good. It's not a big issue. Firepower, well, yeah, I suppose it's helpful. Range is really the main thing. 30, extra 30 miles, that's actually kind of 10, 15 percent. And ever so slightly faster, sure, we'll take it. Might even be better reliability, who knows. Okay, we're out of money. Uh, let's have one last pass of our uh, ship, see if there's anything snuck through that shouldn't. Uh, you are doing foreign service stuff. Yeah. Maybe we say goodbye to the Chattahoochee. 16 aircraft. It's just not, no, it's one quarter of our air arm. I can't do it. We'll put it on reserve. Or yeah, we'll even go as far as mothballing her. We won't get rid of her. She still definitely still has a use. Uh, ah, and you guys are supposed to have been mothballed. Ah, you were away getting repaired. Right, come home. A mothball, yeah, and these Charles Reeds can be mothballed as well. Okay. I mean, that barely made a dent in our... And this is given our entire maintenance budget's 5 million, we were never going to get 4 million out of it. So, okay, if I put two of you... Halt! Have to be all three, that's annoying. Halt! Okay, we'll run that up a couple of months, and then we should be able to restart them again. Uh, she was a, it looks like she was a conversion of his ranger CB4. Lexington class. No, proceeded by. Jumping forward to things. Give me a picture. No pictures. 
Well, lots of pictures, but uh, what was the one? Was chip layout was what after. How many planes did you carry? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, here you go. A healthy number, actually. We get if we can get anywhere near that on our first one, I'd be uh, very happy. Oh, you're talking about in-game use, CV. Sorry, apologies. Too many rangers floating around. Okay, a sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty. Uh, no. Absolutely not. Oof. Larger seaplane carriers. I've never really used them, to be honest. Better float planes. Okay. Range. Yes, much bigger range. Wow, that's huge range, actually. That's all I really care about. Uh, well, no, it's not true. Reliability is good and a little bit of toughness is good so you don't get shot down. Your range is best, your speed is best. I think we have a winner. Okay, let's go one more month. Better 13 inch guns, okay. What are ships under construction looking like? Uh, we'll just leave it where it is for just now. You're going to sell us. Ooh. Better fire control. Oh, yes, we need that. Indeed. Well, there goes any spare money we had just now. Uh, interesting. A naval conference in London has agreed to raise the displacement limit for light crews to 10,000 tons. Okay. But there's no trees or anything. Fair enough. Maybe we could do some 8-inch armed CAs as escorts for our CVs. But still, not so bad line, but still sufficient arm to fight off CLs and DDs. Yeah. I think our my ones I've just built are... No, they're 10 inches. Hang on. Yeah. 10-inch guns. The ones we have in service? Somewhere around here. Hang on, let's do pipes and I won't talk about Yeah, 9 inches. It would suffice, right? Get these shiny uh, battle cruisers off the sh out of the docks. You would like to buy it, absolutely. One more month, one more month. A Chancellorsville gets uh, commissioned. Okay, there's been some upheaval in Polynesia. Britain's sending a force there. What do you recommend? Ultimatum, international force, Polynesia. Uh, plenty of room and tension, so we should uh, say, please don't do that. Uh, they don't care. Oh, that was a um, that was a bigger spike than I was expecting. Huh. This uh, second war may be a lot sooner than ready, and we're we are not ready for it yet. Interesting. I mean, I'm saying I'm going to back away from a fight. Interesting. Okay. Got Tuscaloosa's uh, being constructed again. My Shikoras are obsolete. Okay, well, let's bring you all back. No, let's bring you two back to Caribbean. We'll get you a refit. And in the meantime, let's grab some of the archers. Uh, and we shall move you out to West Africa. Good. And maybe we'll have war next turn. I'm not bringing everyone out of um, Mothball or anything like that. She'll bide our time a little bit. The camper down. Uh, quite slow. Chunky size. Good main armament. Uh, yeah, reasonable of A. Surprised I went with the six inch for the secondaries. 
Okay, we believe Russia has stolen torpedo tech from us. I'll not lose a prestige because we've got loads of room in Russia. Not a problem. We're not spying them. No biggie. Okay, we've not gone to war yet. Which is good. Uh, you have three. We're going to open his end for rebuild. Have we got any better six inch guns yet? Nope. Can go DP in our secondaries. And we're a bit shy of the old weight though. Hmm. These things aren't aren't that good, are they? Well that's why they were out looking after the colonies. Have some direct firing. I mean, you're essentially going to have with no... Uh, okay, 6 TP. Don't do much for your heavy A. I can't even afford a single A director. Okay. You guys are going to be fairly terrible like cruisers. You do foreign station for us, so fine. Yeah, not, not replacing the machinery. Okay. Oh, improved secondaries. Okay. Alright, rebuild you guys. Yeah, no worries, too. You could do what you gotta do. We believe that France has stolen some technology from us. We'll be upset with them. Our new flying boat has less bomb load than projected. That's a bit upsetting. And they've developed a new torpedo bomber. Oh, wow. Dixie, you have been busy, busy. Okay, what we're at? Range, much better. Speed is better. And also, torpedo bomb loads the same. Toughness better. Yep, yeah, I'll take you. You look good. And there she, there she is. That was... Uh, this has, has come unexpectedly soon. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's have a quick check the Almanac. I don't think Britain's ready for this war. She has three active service uh, battleships with another couple on the way. So we're kind of on par at the minute, but we'll fall behind. Battle cruisers. I mean, ours is like a couple of months away. So we've got uh, two to her three, although we have more tonnage overall, so three little ones. She's got no CVs. We have more CVLs in service. And our three of these are, are pretty near the, the cap for planes. Uh, that's a museum ship, don't worry about that. CAs, we're about to pop those three out. So again, we have more CLs. Okay, we're behind the times on CLs. Uh, we're behind on destroyers, but uh, how do we deal with that? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not ready, but I'm okay with this. I think, I think we can take her. My biggest uh, gripe... Can't invade anywhere. Um, which pros and cons. Cons, obviously, we can't do our little land grabs we planned. But if we end up with a fairly quick war, we might be able to grab a bit of land up here. Can't remember how much some of this stuff was. But I remember finding out. Well, it tells you there four, doesn't it? Yeah, main is eight. What's Halifax? Five. So even as long as we get four, we can grab St John's, and then that definitely gives us. Invasion range plus one less air, uh, air base. That's our, our big threat up here. Okay, well let's let's get ourselves some more then. Uh, just mobilize, please. Mobilize. Can't afford mobilization. Okay, but two months. We'll get our money back. So that's okay. You've got a couple of heavy cruisers over here. I think I will dispatch some of our older heavy cruisers and we can have an old an old ship fight. Um, oh yeah, it's going to be both of our heavy cruisers if we do that. We are six months away, so we'd have no heavy cruisers for a while. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
How do I feel about that? I think that's okay. Let's move you out there. Some cruiser engagements. My other question is, do we want to go up and say hello on the North American East Coast? Danger, of course, being the battle generator, kicking some battles up around here. Let's hold fire. For one. For at least one turn. Tempted to see where they send their fleet. But I think we're going to end up clashing here. Uh, unrestricted submarines, because we're okay on that front. I think, uh, yeah. Uh, oh no, trade protection ASW. How is our ASW? Zero? Why is it zero? Ah, that's better. Okay. We don't have any raiders or anything. We could do that. If we move in force up here, I might set some people into raid. Convoy defense. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's good to decline. Coastal raid. Interesting. We have no ships. I'll say, well, if I accept to say, I don't know if it's more or less VPs. Well, let's find out. I say accept. It says you don't have. <laughs> okay, I was expecting this pop-up to say you do not have enough forces in the area and automatically lose. It doesn't. They declined against zero ships. Okay, chance was out. Float planes are out. And we have submarines. We sunk two merchants. Okay, good. Huh. Interesting. They haven't really gone anywhere or done anything. They're just sitting at home. It's now more upsetting we can't invade if they haven't even brought a fleet to defend themselves. Well, we could go sink the CVL. And they've got one CVL down here as well. Splitting the fleet is always dangerous. Perhaps let's do exactly that. Let's send... Well, I'll keep our BCs down here because we're still waiting on the other one to get finished. Let's send a uh, force north. Fever BBs. Uh, uh, things. We will send two of the Chicka Tucks. And. The Selmas. All of them? Mm, no. And then a bunch of destroyers. In fact, let's send our bear destroyers. Something like that. We're going to go say hello to the British. And say hello to the British, if you will, but not until the next episode. So a rather unexpected war, to be perfectly honest. I had uh, hoped for a few more years to properly rebuild the fleet before we engaged in combat yet again. On the plus side, as unready as we are, the Royal Navy is also unready. They've not had much time to rebuild, and we did do a significant amount of damage to them in the previous war. So hopefully we can leverage the leftovers of our fleet to be better than the leftovers of theirs but as i said it's not a fight i'm going to back away from and hopefully it gives us a good opportunity to secure a little bit of territory in the northeast coast as ever do leave your thoughts comments etc down below and i hope you've enjoyed this and i'll catch you in the next one cheerio for now